In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to continue our study of division as we look at the traditional algorithm method, otherwise known as long division. We'll be working with single digit divisors in word problems, and this is standard 4 NBT B6. We'll be looking at this worksheet, and you can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You can find it under our division video walkthroughs section and it's entitled Traditional Long Division Algorithm Method Word Problems with Single Digit Divisors. Let's check out the directions. Solve the following using the traditional method. Multiply to check your work. And we have two word problems. Here's the first one. Emma has a book with 245 Sudoku puzzles in it. If she completes seven puzzles every day, how long will it take her to complete the book? Let's take a look at what our math job would be. First of all, you'll find it in the question. So the question is this. How long will it take her, that is Emma, to complete the Sudoku book? And Emma has a book with, let's use a different color here. 245 Sudoku puzzles in it. If she completes seven, so she's going to complete seven puzzles every day, so that's seven puzzles per day, so every or each day, how long will it take her to complete the book? Well, this is a classic division problem, and if you were to set it up the traditional way, you'd take um, the total number of puzzles in it, so that would be 245. And Emma wants to, or she plans on solving seven puzzles every day. So each day, she solves seven of those Sudoku puzzles. So now, in the traditional long division or traditional algorithm method, there are some steps. Now, when you hear that big fancy word algorithm, that just means you're following a certain set of procedures. And the procedures are these. There's division, so you're going to divide, multiply, subtract, and then bring down. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by those steps. Now, one way to remember these steps, um, you can remember a mnemonic that I always use when I'm teaching the long division or traditional algorithm method, and it's dirty monkeys smell bad. For some reason, that kind of just sticks in my mind and helps me to remember the steps of the long division process. So again, it's divide. Oops. So we're going to divide, multiply, subtract, and then bring down. And then you really Kind of do it, start all over again until you have nothing left <clears throat> and you've worked through your whole dividend. Now, the dividend is the number underneath this little house. I kind of think of it as the dividend lives in this little house at the end of the road, so it's the dividend. And outside here is your divisor, the number you're dividing by. So, first of all, we're going to divide. You start off with this 7 on the outside as your divisor. And you're going to look at these place by place on starting with the left. In this case, it's the hundreds place. So you think to yourself, how many times can 7 go into 2? Well, 7 is larger than 2, so it really can't fit into 2. So you kind of extend it out, and you're going to look at not only the 2, but the next digit over. In this case, it's 4. So altogether, you've got 24. So 7 goes into 24. How many times? And you can also think of it as 7 times what equals 24. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, 7 times 2 is 14. 
7 times 3 is 21, and 70, 7 times 4 is 28. Well, we have to figure out how many times 7 can go into 24 without going over. So the closest we could get, and you might be thinking this too, so good for you, is 7 times 3. So there we go. 7 times 3, or 3 times 7. All right, so we went 7 goes into 24. That was our divide step, or 24 divided by 7. And then we're going to multiply 3 times 7. And that's our multiply set step. 3 times 7 is 21, which leads us to our subtraction step. And there's, there's the S for subtract. And we're going to do that. So we've got 4 to go by 1 is 3. 2 take away 2 is 0. So there's 0 there. So now we've done that. Now let's check our next step, and that's bring down. So we'll do that. We'll bring down that 5. So now we start all over again. So we're going to do it again. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, do it again. And again, you can remember that. If you remember it, you can write these these steps right on top of a test, or if you're working some, on some place in a separate piece of paper in your notebook or something, you can just kind of remember the steps as dirty monkeys smell bad. It's a mnemonic that helps you remember to divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So let's go. We've got we went through the steps one once. Now we're we have 35 down here, and you're going to use your divisor again. So let's do that. So we're gonna we have our divisor, and we're gonna work with 35 now. And you think to yourself, okay, 35 divided by 7. Hmm. Okay. Or 7 goes into 35. How many times? You might be thinking, oh, hey, I know that one. So that's our divide step again. All right. So 7 times 35. I'm sorry, 7 goes into 35 five times. So if you're thinking that, 5 times 7 equals 35, good for you. So that's our multiplication step. 5 times 7 is 35. So we'll write that under there. Our product fits right underneath there perfectly. And we're going to subtract. That's our next step. 5 take away 5. 0 and 3 minus 3, 0. So there you go. We have no remainder. It fits right in there nice and neatly. And our directions were to check with multiplication, so we can do that. So right now I'm thinking, okay, if Emma has a book with 245 puzzles in it, and she completes seven puzzles every day, it will take her 35 days to complete the book if she does 7 per day. So let's check it out. We'll use multiplication to check. So we've got 35 times 7. Five, uh, 7 times 5 is 35. And 7 times 3 is 21 plus 3 is 24. So that should check out. We've got 245 here and 245 there. So since that all checks out, now we have to make sure we answered our, our question or we've done our math job. How long will it take her, in this case Emma, to complete the book? Well, it will take her 35 days. So let's put that in a complete sentence. It will take Emma... 35 days to complete the book. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video and resume it when you're ready. And there is the solution to the first problem using long division or the traditional algorithm method. Problem number two. Clara wants a new skateboard that costs $192.
She makes $3 per day by recycling bottles and cans. How many days will it take Clara take for Clara to save enough money to buy the skateboard? All right, first of all, let's take care of that math job. And it's here in the question, how many days will it take for Clara to save enough money to buy the skateboard? And we'll go back to the first sentence. Uh, Clara wants to buy a new skateboard that costs $192. There it is, $192. In this case, our number is in word form. And let's see, she makes $3 per that was dollars per day. So each day, or per day, she earns $3 recycling bottles and cans. So there's our number three right there in standard form for us. And again, it's a classic division problem. We're given the, the number 192 representing the, the cost of the skateboard. So we've got that. 192 will become our dividend. And she makes $3 each day. So it's divided by 3. So $192 divided by 3 that she earns each day. Let's figure out how many days it will take her to save enough money to buy that skateboard. Again, we've got those steps. Divide. Multiply. Subtract. Bring down. And then we'll have to do that again maybe once maybe several times depends on how long your dividend in is in this case it's 100 192 a three-digit number so here we go we'll divide first we've got our divisor of three and we want to see if it fits into one well no it really doesn't fit into one let's include this next digit over to the right it makes it 19 so three goes into 19 how many times hmm 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, you're probably thinking along with me, good for you. And then 3 times 6 is 18, uh, 3 times 7 would be 21. So I think we'll stop with that 6, and you're probably thinking that, that's, that's true, because you want to see how many times 3 fits into 19 without going over. So 3 times 6, or 6 times 3 would be 18. We'll subtract. So you can see these steps. We divided. Now we multiplied 6 times 3. And now we're going to subtract. 19 minus 18. So 9 minus 8 is 1. And 1 minus 1 would be 0. Now we have to bring down. We'll bring down the 2 making 12. And we start all over again. We'll start this process all over again. We'll go back to our division step. 12 divided by 3, or 3 goes into 12. How many times? And you're probably thinking, well, I know that one. That's 3 times 4, or 4 times 3. So 4 times 3 equals 12. Subtract, and you're probably seeing it right there. 12 take away 12. So anytime you you subtract a number from itself, it's always 0. So you're left with no remainder. And 3 goes into 192 64 times evenly. Does that make sense? Well, let's see. How many days will it take for Clara to save enough money to buy the skateboard? 64 days. OK. Wow, that's a long time for her, over two months. She works hard recycling. But let's check it out. We'll use multiplication to check our answer. So here we go. We've got the quotient up here, the answer to our division problem. And we're using our divisor. And we're going to multiply those two together to see if it comes up with the dividend. So here we go. 64 times 3 equals. Now we could set it up like that. Why don't we also show the lattice method? I know that's a popular method. So let's check that out. 
If you want to know how to do this lattice method, feel free to go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We have a couple of videos on, about that and some worksheets to go along with them. So it's a two by one multiplication problem. So you set up a two by one lattice. And remember to go corner to corner when you're setting up that diagonal line. So now we'll do three times four equals 12. 3 times 6 is 18. Check it out. We'll add diagonally 2. 8 plus 1 is 9. 1 plus 0 where nothing equals 1. So there we are. We are right back to where we started with from 192. So in this case, how many days will it take for Clara to save enough money to buy the skateboard? It will take Clara 64 days. Let's write it in a complete sentence. It's always good practice to do that. It kind of really shows that you understand the problem. So here we go. It will take Clara 64 days. To save enough money to buy the skateboard, you could add that on if you'd like. But really, 60, it will take her 64 days. That is the key information. That's your quotient to this division problem. That was a quick look at the traditional algorithm method of division, otherwise known as long division. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time.